Some areas picked up as much as an inch and a half to almost two and a half inches of rain yesterday, and that came with record setting high temperatures close to 60 degrees, 59 officially at the airport. That's a big difference today is that colder air has returned, but it's dry air too, so we're not tracking any rain or snow as we move into your Monday afternoon. Looking at our threat tracker, we'll keep our threat level low for today and tonight, then in the medium level for your Tuesday. And we're talking more specifically about uh, Tuesday evening and the first part of Tuesday night as a clipper system comes in late in the day. It'll bring both rain and snow showers to our area and possibly another weekend storm to track just as the paths get ready to uh, kick off at Gillette Stadium. Could be looking at another soaking and chilly rainfall. Narragansett outside right now, plenty of sunshine, dry air. We're finding the to be the case in Providence. You can see the camera shaking a little bit in the winds. They're still rather gusty from the west northwest about 15 miles an hour. So that 36 degree temperature feels like 27. Very dry air in place. 33% humidity right now. Warwick's at 36. Gust to 23 miles per hour. Similar in Smithfield. 34 feels like 27 with the winds. And our wind chills will stay in the 20s in Tiverton with a temperature right now of about 36 degrees. It's similar in westerly. Winds will finally diminish this evening and overnight tonight. And some lake effect snow coming in across Lake Ontario and Lake Erie this morning, and that'll continue this afternoon. Meanwhile, we're watching what's taking place, what's dropping down out of the Alberta area, an area of low pressure that we call an Alberta clipper this time of year. We'll try to come across into the northeast, and that's what will give us tomorrow our chance of rain and snow showers. I'm going to time that out for you, but today it looks dry. Much cooler temperatures in the upper 30s. Your future cast for tonight. We're looking at mostly clear skies, cold and dry with a low near 20, 21 degrees. West winds are lighter, 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then tomorrow looking at uh, partly sunny skies to start. Clouds will be on the increase and we could see a few evening showers. In fact, even a passing rain shower possible Tuesday afternoon. Notice the temperatures though in the afternoon are up into the 40s. So here we go at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, starting off with partial sunshine, clouding up in the afternoon. 2 o'clock, you see that passing rain shower then after the evening commute this is around seven o'clock in the evening we get a burst of rain and snow and I think it's primarily snow as you travel north and west of Providence southeast at the coast you'll mostly be rainfall and then it'll be a rain changing to snow situation uh, farther inland it's short-lived only a few hours and then we get back to drier weather by the Wednesday morning commute though there could be some slippery spots snowfall amounts look very light about a coating to maybe as much as an inch of snow north and west of Providence. It's enough to cause some slippery spots for the Wednesday morning time frame. But upper 30s today, low 40s for tomorrow, with again that chance for some rain or snow. Slick spots after dark, coating to one inch possible for your Wednesday. We're back to dry, very chilly weather. Highs in the lower 30s, similar Thursday, Friday. And again, I have that rain in the forecast for Saturday. Could be heavy at times in the afternoon and evening. High temperatures will be around 40 degrees. It looks drier Sunday, brisk and cool.